Hey everybody, this is Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com. Today we're going to be looking at Mint Mobile. Uh, Mint Mobile is a mobile virtual network operator. They're a mobile phone company that is piggybacking off of the T-Mobile network. Um, they are a low-cost provider, and uh, they're definitely one that you should be checking out if you're looking for a low-cost mobile phone service, so stay tuned. Okay, so I signed up for Mint Mobile. Um, they have two options when you're signing up for Mint Mobile. You can either buy one of the phones on their mobile store on their website, or you can bring your own phone, uh, GSM phone, to their service. I already had a phone uh, that I had from a previous provider, so I just signed up using that. It's a Motorola Moto Z Play. Um, so I signed up on their site for a three-month plan with two gigabytes of data for $45. Uh, total. So uh, $15 a month for two gigabytes of data, unlimited calling and unlimited texting. Basically, when, when you sign up for Mint Mobile, you have uh, three different calling plans uh, that you can sign up for. You have a three-month plan, a six-month plan, or a 12-month plan. With those plans here, let's go over to their different plans that they have so you can see it on the screen here. Uh, so three, six, and 12-month plans, and then you have unlimited calling and unlimited texting on all of the plans. The thing that you're paying for is the mobile data. So you have two, gigab two gigabytes of data, five gigabytes of data, or 10 gigabytes of data. So depending on how much data you want, you're gonna pay either less or more. So I'm currently on the two gigabytes of data plan uh, that for the first three months, it's $45 total or $15 a month. After the first three months, it gets bumped up to $23 a month uh, or $69 total. Um, on, unless you change your plan to a six month or 12 month plan, in which case you're gonna be paying less. Basically, the longer of a contract you sign up for, the less you're gonna pay. So if you sign up for a year contract, you're gonna continue paying that $15 a month. If you sign up for only six months, it's $18 a month. And three months, $23 a month. It's the same thing with the five gigabyte and 10 gigabyte plans. If you're paying for 10 gigabytes at three months, it's $38 a month. Six months, it's $30 a month. And if you sign up for an entire year, it's $25 a month for a 10, gig 10 gigabyte plan, which is actually a pretty uh, great price for that much data. But again, this is not a month to month contract. This is either three, six or 12 month contract with Mint Mobile. So something to be aware of. It's, it's great the pricing that they have available, but again, you are signing up for multiple months when you do that. It's not a month to month contract like some uh, providers. So I'm going to try out the service on the three-month plan. First of all, $15 a month. We'll see how that goes. I will report back on that. But let's take a look back at the dashboard again. Uh, so what can you do on the dashboard when you're signed up for Mint Mobile? You can come in here. You can check your remaining uh, data balance. Uh, I just signed up for it today and turned on the service, uh, which was very easy, by the way. I signed up and got the, the SIM card sent to me in the mail. They sent it out. I put the SIM card into the phone turned the phone back on, and almost immediately I was able to make phone calls and send text messages. I also went in and uh, updated some of the uh, settings in the Android settings. Uh, they walk you through this on their site when you go to the Activate page. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, I changed those settings, restarted the phone, and everything was just working. Uh, I've made some phone calls, some text messages, and done a, just a little bit of data uh, usage and everything works just great. Um, so again, you can come in here, see what plan you're on. You can see how much data you have left. You can see if you have roaming credit, if you're uh, going international and call making international calls, uh, you would need to buy credit for that. Uh, when you purchase credit, that credit remains good for however long you need it. Uh, it just stays in here until you use it. Um, if you want to in a certain month, let's say you're going to go over your two gigabytes of data and you need to add more data. Maybe you're uh, on vacation and you're using more data than normal. Uh, you can come in here and add one gigabyte of data for 10 bucks. Uh, you can add three gigabytes for 20 bucks. Um, and then also, if it, if it isn't just a one-time thing, you may just want to increase your plan. But this is a way to come in, add your extra data in case you're just having a busy, busy month. The up roam is where you can come in and add 
international roaming credit. So you can make uh, phone calls when you're uh, in a foreign country or whatever. You can add those in increments of five, 10 or $20. Auto recharge is where you can uh, set it up so that it automatically re-ups your plan every three months, six months or 12 months. Your wallet is where you can go in and add credits so that you can automatically add that increased data or roaming or whatever. Uh, you just have that money sitting in there ready for, for when you need it. Wi-Fi talk and text is where you can come in and enable Wi-Fi calling on your account uh, if your phone is enabled for that. Uh, my particular phone is not, so I, I can't set this up uh, for my phone. But uh, they do have a listing of different pho phones that are compatible with that. Refer this is where you can refer uh, a friend to Mint Mobile. Uh, first time you refer another user uh, to the service, it's a $30 credit on your account. And $15 for every referral after that. The person you refer also gets 15 bucks, which is nice. So it's uh, something to think about. And then the manage plan area here, this is where you can come in and, and change your plan to whatever plan you want. Again, longer term, the less you pay. Your transaction history, preferences, whether or not you want to receive promotional uh, text messages, emails, and phone calls, personal info. And if you need a replacement SIM, you can order that through there too. But but really, the main things you need in here is the uh, telling you what plan you're on and how much data you have left, because the data is really the only thing that you're uh, needing to keep track of. You have unlimited calling and unlimited texting on every plan. So the data is really the only thing you need to keep track of. So uh, I've been using the service just for a day or two here. Uh, so far, everything works great. I have great coverage in my area. I'm in the Minneapolis, St. Paul metro area. So it's a, you know, a big city metropolitan area where they have good coverage. So, uh, but it is on the T-Mobile network. So if you have good T-Mobile coverage in your area, you're likely gonna have good coverage for mid-mobile as well. And since T-Mobile is one of the large, largest networks in the country, uh, they're probably gonna have pretty good coverage in, in most areas. So Mint Mobile, I would definitely recommend checking it out. They are a great service. They have wonderful coverage and the pricing, especially if you go for one of those 12 month plans is uh, among the lowest that you're going to find out there. So uh, definitely check it out.